Welcome, 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 welcome to the big blue house. I keep doing that. Welcome, 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 welcome to the big blue house. Okay. Instead of looking at my face, you're going to look at my table. So we're going to do Aries. We're going to do my little Ramskis, and we're going to do raw love. Okay. I'm going to pull you one of these. I will read it at the end. All right. Aries, Aries. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. That's too many. I don't that was summoned before that yet understanding so damn hope okay that was love you got beautiful beautiful cards coming out I just I don't want to see it I'm gonna look away areas 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 that's too many oh was that already there um I'm gonna leave it okay you have beauty in this a little deceit I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one um, obviously as all uh, you guys my little Ramsey's have a lot going on um, so I'm gonna play a couple of these all right we definitely need to um, find some balance okay there's, there's no question here. Um, we definitely, oh my goodness gracious, you guys, this energy is everywhere. My ramp skis, my ramp skis. at the bottom of the deck reversed okay holy shit all right um you got the five of crystals reversed you got the five of cups reversed and you have the nine of cups reversed so you're not happy right now you're coming out of disappointment the negativity okay you're coming out of this oh this is ugly i'm sorry <sighs> fatal sticks man all right you guys are like instantly instantly like <sighs> heavy 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 um it's okay you're coming out of this negativity all right you're coming out of this five of cups you this sorrow okay it, it's more of a disappointment um you have beautiful energy coming you are in the midst of like um like, I even want to say, like, a midlife crisis for some of you. Like, it literally feels like a midlife crisis right now. Like, you're just like, ah, uh, you know, like, <sighs> I think because you weren't taking care of yourself, okay? I think you were just letting people give to you, and I think you were more of, like, a taker, okay? Um, for some You have heart-to-heart -heart conversation, calling in your soulmate, getting to know each other, love yourself first. So it's right off the bat, there's not enough self-care here for some, okay? Um, and, and that's why you're unhappy, because the decisions you have been making um, have not been serving you clear as day. And it is starting to catch up with you now, and I think you're effing exhausted. I think you were fighting. I feel like you were fighting yourself more than anything, though, okay? Like, I I do feel some deceit here, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know why. Oh, because of that card. It's more than that, though. So I feel like the deceit I'm seeing, for some it's self-sabotage, for others, it was temptation, okay? It was a very lustful encounter that you had but it ended up being toxic for damn sure um i i definitely like yeah see something wrapped up it looks like a third party even came to an end or just energies that were no good it didn't even have to be interference okay 
Um, I do feel like whatever that situation is that's wrapping up, though, it was a tempting scenario. Like, you took the bait. Tell me about the five of crystals reverse. So this is you coming out of negativity, okay? Um, yeah, see the high priestess reverse. So this is you either didn't use your intuition when it came to a certain scenario or secrets are about to be exposed or they were, okay? To me, what this is saying, you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with calling in your soulmate underneath. This is saying to me, screaming to me that you need to have a conversation with somebody, but you just can't process this you don't know how to do it um tell me about the five of cups reversed you were disappointed when it it comes to something i um the father of swords so this is you were either disappointed i think this is your energy um angry okay angry disappointed misled unfulfilled no mutual energy here tell me about the nine of cups reversed the mother of pence So either someone did you wrong or you did them wrong. But this is a very nurturing energy, okay? Um, I think you tried to find fulfillment. I, I actually feel like you didn't try to find fulfillment with this person. So there's been somebody in your life, male or female, like the Ma Pence. And I think now you want to get to know this person, but... You're trying to nurture you, too, because of whatever this is. And my hand was just about to shake like I'm nervous. Like, you're nervous to extend. Like, look at me. Like, you're nervous to extend swap feelings here with somebody. Like, holy shit. That's crazy. Um... So you have somebody that is very nurturing right now, and I kind of feel like you're angry with yourself. Tell me about a hat to hat conversation. This is, you want to have this, or somebody tried to have it with you, or it didn't go well. I mean, the father of swords knows how to have a conversation. That's why I think, like, it just, it didn't go well. Um, that's too many. Heart to heart, please. Heart to heart. don't normally have to do this so this is different energy you definitely are ending something starting something I, I feel like uh, okay it's, I'm not seeing something. To me, this is straight up secrets when the high priestess reverse or, or it's actually physically energy. Like, tell me about the high priestess. It's going to let me break it down. Tell me about the high priestess. The sun reverse. I don't know if you were dealing with an Aries or a Leo. This is you not getting the clarity. This is negativity all day. You're not getting the clarity, okay? You're seeking the clarity, or you know it, and you're just disappointed, and <sighs> it's the six of wands. Like, it's, <laughs> I, I think, like, it was a hollow victory. Like, you pushed away from someone, a person, place, a thing, thinking it was going to be victorious, and, and now I feel like you need this nurturing energy, because there's been some growth. There's a butterfly. Like, now I feel like you need it. But you're not pursuing it. 
but it's all up in your energy okay so this is what that is tell me about heart to heart conversation so this is somebody you need to talk to all right go express how you feel um this is that nurturing energy okay that's way too many um that's the son of wands reversed <sighs> oh, that was my damn knee cracking <sighs> so and it was a son of swords, not wands. Tell me about heart to heart conversation. Heart to heart. Okay, so. It's a six of swords. It's you getting out of this energy to move forward and going towards the rainbow. Um, it's you going right towards somebody. I think this mama already wanted to have this conversation and you shut it down. You didn't give this person clarity. You didn't give them nothing. And I think you're dealing with a, a straight up mama. All right. She's got a, a baby doe. You're going right towards her or him. You're going right towards the nurturing energy. Tell me about calling in your soulmate. And, and you've been calling this particular person in, dreaming, manifesting, pondering. All right. Yeah. See, there's that conversation you need to have. Here's that clarity coming through. You're ready to give somebody clarity. So I'm proud of you, my little Ramskis, because... It's difficult and you're nervous. Okay, so I'm proud of you. Tell me about getting to know each other. <clears throat> it's the Seven of Cups. It's it's coming out of the confusion because it was reversed. All right, it's 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 laying. It's like before you probably had plenty of options and it was confusing, but now it's. You know, you, it's becoming clear on what direction, okay? So to me, you definitely want to get to know this person. You're, you're ready for this conversation, which is beautiful. Tell me about love yourself first. So maybe you didn't have enough love for this person when this person was trying to nurture something. Um, and it's the Seven of Swords. And this card was in the Leo read in the same exact spot, okay? But this is you coming back to this situation, so, and it's two sevens, okay? Um, it, it's actually three sevens. So, <clears throat> spiritual meaning of 777? According to trusted psychic mediums, they want to help you move towards the path of your dreams. This angel number is a very spiritual number, and tripled means its power is magnified three times as well. Yeah, see, like, you don't, you, you don't have, like, that's what I'm saying. It's not about options anymore. You know, you know what you're doing. It's just a matter of you revealing your higher self, the best version of you. All right, owning up to your truth, bringing love and light into your life, okay? Being positive, things coming into fruition type thing. Um... So continue to, to take care of yourself because in all reality, you self-sabotage this situation with this mama of pens because of you liking options, you having options. I'm sure it was a whole lot of other stuff too, guys, for damn sure, all right? But it, this looks like my Aries self-sabotage their own situation with somebody. Tell me about soulmate. But see, to me, now you know who this is. All right, so you know the divine is, is partaking in this too. It's clear as day. We have it's worth waiting for too. Um, so it's the father of wands reversed. All right, so it's, it's we have a snake here too. So it's like, but it's reversed. So it's coming out of this sneaky energy, okay? That will be reversed. It, it really will. See, look at the fool. All right, that will be taking a risk. Tell me about the father of wands. That will be stepping forward. It's clear as day because this this nurturing energy, 
you're you're memorized with like you're not hypnotized but like and in, you're intrigued okay like there's that messenger i told you that's coming like it's gonna put an end to the sneaky shit okay um you now look at this person as nurturing you feel it you see it you own it it's it's just a matter of you you know, letting your guard down, being a little more vulnerable than what you are right now, okay? You're in a very vulnerable state, which is actually, um, I want to say, like, you're coming in as masculine energy, but it's very nurturing masculine energy. It, like, you're vulnerable right now, and it's it's beautiful, it's it's not you don't have to worry about being this vulnerable this is how you're supposed to be feeling right now okay tell me about worth waiting for <clears throat> you know it's the it's the five of wands with the six of cups so it's it, there's going to be a little confrontation but i mean that's that would to be expected anyway because you have a past with this person and there's plenty there's there's clarity needed. There's stuff needs to be exposed. So that's why your nerves are like that too. Okay. Differences. A straight up twin. A straight up life partner. Okay. There's there's no gray area here. You know. You know what I'm saying. And now it's just a matter of how how do we how do I go in? How do I make this work? Differences. As your goddess, I have seen many things from the beginning of time, especially with the indifference between being scarce or good. You must learn to accept others because they're not the same as you. It's important to allow others to express their own opinions. Consider the difference between the apple and the orange. Both are fruit, but the, the, they're just different kinds. Not one is more valuable than the other. I think not all creatures and beings have the right to their own uniqueness. Try to see and hear the other side of the story as well. All right, and you're there. You're in this energy now, and you're you're nervous, but it's it's okay, okay. This is whether you guys get into a relationship or not. This is a destined scenario. This is you know blending of the energies. So it's okay to be in this state. Don't think you can't approach this. You have to be in this state to literally have this type of conversation like I can I can feel it I, I got the goosebumps I know so you know go message somebody go pick up the phone this is a message coming in that's a messenger okay it's it's your past you know this person tell me about the ace of swords this is you you have to you have to reach out I think um tell me about the ace of swords so don't wait for this energy to subside because this is the energy that you're supposed to be in in order to make this work. If you're not feeling it yet, you will. Okay, look at that. How beautiful. It's go invest time. Go have this new start. All right. It, it's worth the investment is what this is saying. Okay, like go have it. Take the risk. Okay. You've been calling your soulmate in anyway or they have, but to me this is you. Okay, so that's beautiful. I'm going to pull you a moon card. So I'm proud of you guys. This is not an easy um, energy. This is a very vulnerable energy. So you don't have to worry about like spiritual attacks or anything. This is where you're supposed to be. Embrace the energy. It's going to make you a better person, believe it or not. Okay. Um, Aries, Aries, Aries. You're, you're still going to be very practical, logical. You're, you're still in that energy, okay? This is just a little, this is like bonus energy, believe it or not, okay? You probably don't look at it like that, but it truly is like bonus energy. You're definitely not used to feeling this. That is for damn sure. But whomever you're about to talk to is very nurturing, and you know that. And I think that's why you're like, okay. So if you haven't felt this yet, it's definitely coming.
the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. Okay. How hard is it? How hard are you willing to, to work towards what it is you want right now? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be coming up to a head too if this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay at a job or leave, this card is a strong indicator that you should really make an exit. At the end of a rough time, especially uh, when this card is forecasted, this card also asks you to consider, you know, be ambitious about where you want to go next, all right? Be prepared to pull out all stops to make your personal dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card is to have you face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, make a plan that will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it. Okay, it says release control and trust the universe. It says admit that you have been overly hard-headed and heart-roasted and heart-nosed. Find the balance between your personal and private lives. It's time to stop fearing the worst. Okay, um, this is some strong energy for you to work with. Okay, so it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's professional too, which is why you're coming up as the king of swords. So that's why I'm saying you're still in that, you're still in that energy, but now you're able to apply this other energy to when it comes to whatever fear this is. And this fear is this mama, this mama and this baby doe. Okay, because you're not used to this type of nurturing energy. All right, this is that, this is beautiful. Okay, um, if you question your job, let it go. Okay. Um, go towards this this man or woman, this nurturing energy. It's it's destined. Is there gonna be a little conflict? Yeah. But don't don't worry about it. It's it's just conflict, okay? You can you can work it out. Turn this into a magical wand, okay? Think positive. All right, invest your time where you need to invest your time. Go have a new start. Invest your time in something brand new. All right. I love you guys. Bye.